Hello guys, and welcome back to another Mazazoka update. So, this is going to be a quick little update today. Uh, didn't really have much time to record, but I did have enough time to get this out very quickly. But, um, let's get right into it. So, I'm going to mention the biggest part first, and that is obviously that four hours ago, Mazazoka posted on their Facebook, we are excited to say that if you back the game, you'll forever be mem memorialized in the game. How is going to be kept secret till the demos are sent out? As requested, a bigger box for a worthy fan base. Share, guess, and spread the word. Time for our game developed for the gamers and nothing more. So, obviously they went with the bigger box method instead of just the um, other two that we hadn't opened. So, I'm guessing now we'll never find out what were in those boxes until the official release. But, there is something bigger. And this obviously you know, does look a lot like um, Jurassic Park 3, where the plane crashes. Uh, but it looks like it's been there for a while. But this is obviously not like Jurassic Park. They're just, you know, doing it for the idea. You know, it's not obviously uh, because that plane was completely destroyed. However, they were trying to bring on that, like, sort of idea. And so, earlier today, on their Twitter... Uh, they posted, the worst feeling in the world is telling somebody, no, no, we can't create your dinosaur game for you, we gotta finish our mezzo first. And that was because, t on the 23rd, they were gonna have a lunch meeting with somebody about creating a really cool game, which is pretty much for anyone who is a fan of dinosaur games, and they wanted to see how it goes. So my guess is that they got there, they got to the meeting, and whoever they were talking with, whoever wanted to get this game idea launched off uh, whoever it was they just wanted too much time and Mesozoica couldn't do that uh, because just because of their time constraints with trying to fi finish Mesozoica first but who knows maybe they will develop that eventually uh, just not yet so obviously you know that'd be pretty cool to have their second release also be a dinosaur game uh, for those of you who don't know their official company sort of like name is underdog or development team is underdog interactive uh, they have, they do have a YouTube. Uh, they are on my featured, I believe, so you can check them out there. And then also, finally, someone when they, someone posted on this uh, post right here. Hey guys, when will we be able to pre-order Mesozoica on Steam? Uh, obviously, it's blocked out for security reasons, and you know I don't want to deal with all that stuff, so I just block it out. And Mezzoka said, we haven't decided, feel like it's a possibility when we feel comfortable with the game's progression. And then they obviously said, responded, and they said, okay, cool, thanks for the reply. And then someone else said, hopefully it's sometimes this year or early next year. So, what this basically means is that only backers will have the game until they feel the game has come along far enough in progression. And then once, you know, that's over... You know, once the backers get their special time with the game, then it will be released to the public. So obviously I'm looking forward to doing a Let's Play of that on the beta. Because that's the first version I'll be getting. I didn't back for the alpha, I back for the beta. But, you know, I think I'd rather play the beta than alpha just because it's going to be more developed at that point. And so, I'm going to go back to this really quick. The new... Uh, like and share rate is 600 likes and 10 shares so once again if you guys do have a Facebook make sure you head over to their Facebook page and you like their post and then you also maybe share it with share it with one person at a time like I don't know even your parents okay uh, if you know your parents are interested in the game or maybe share it with your friends or whoever just share it and like it so that we can find out what's inside this box because as soon as we find out what's in this box uh, the sooner I can do another update, the sooner I can bring, you know, more stuff out. And plus, it's going to be really cool to see what is inside of this box. Uh, can't really read what that is, what it says on the box, so I don't, we don't know what it is. But that's it for today's episode, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.